is plain words bollocks. Hello, it's that time of the month again where I say, what you got this month, Wilderness? Yes, it's my end of month bot haul. And uh, I've got a lot of stuff to get through this month. So uh, let's uh, see if we can get things rolling. Anyway, so I've got a, a big bunch of bots here. So let's get on with it. Right, um, okay. Item number one. Yep, uh, first item I bought early on in the month was, uh, now, if you remember, on my channel, was it last year? I uh, I got one of these. Got the little Bonaparte Torcus and did a did a review on it where I went into the history of the uh, the toy and the company that produced it, Takatoku Toys, and uh, I got that. Well, I've only gone and got the big one. <laughs> Yep, here it is. Here's the uh, the big, the big one, the one fifty fifty uh, fifth scale Torcus. Now you, you put him next to the little one, and you can see the difference in the scale. Now this thing, um, it's got die cast on it for starters. Um, it's got like working rubber tracks. And it's got a lot more accessories than the original one, but it's got roughly the same articulation. It hasn't really got anything extra in terms of articulation on the bot mode, which is a shame, because when you look at the artist impression on the box, you know, it's got, it looks like the legs are splayed out and the arms are all over the place, but it, it and the turret moves, which, which doesn't on this toy, which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, um, I got this complete with a, a slightly tatty box, but it's got most of his accessories. It's missing two missiles and the pilot, because obviously it's got a, a little cockpit and a seat for a little pilot dude to go and uh, I got it for how much was it right so let's start again uh, <laughs> yeah so I actually I bought him on the 1st of March and he arrived on the 6th and I paid just under 75 quid for it which is, is, is a good price it was actually um, on eBay it was at a, at a slightly higher price it was uh, what was it? It was, it was about about. He was asking about eighty quid for it plus the postage, and then he, he dropped a pr he knocked a he sliced a tenner off the price. So I bought it. Like I said, it's not in mint condition, but it has most of his accessories, and this is a really good price because you know these things often go for a lot of money. Um, it, it's a it's a scale model. It's uh, rather than a, you know an action figure, but uh, I thought I had to get one. So yeah, that was the first thing I got this month. A uh, one fifty fifth scale. Takatoku Torcus. Right, moving along. Right, the next figure, I've, um, obviously I've done a review on it. Yeah. Zanjiang M01 Mechanic Master, or they're uh, oversized of the uh, Generation Toy um, uh, little builder figure Megatrons. So yeah, got him. Now obviously I haven't played with him much since I, since I did the review. Uh, he has got has got kind of floppy legs. The hips are, are a bit loose, and uh, it's a good thing that he came supplied with some uh, nail uh, polish hardener. Well, I mean, he came with this this nice version of the uh, Dark Energon saber, and it, it's a great toy. It's 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 a, it's a good. Oversize of a, of a of a decent mold. Yes, it's got some QC issues, but apart from that, I mean, it's it's a decent enough Megs, and I love collecting Megatron Gunformers, so I had to have it, and I did a little little review on it. It's a great little figure. Um, that only cost me thirty two quid, and again, I bought it on the first uh, of March, and it arrived on the seventh. So, got him, and then um, from the same seller. Uh, a uh, guy in China. I also got Little Titans Return Legends Brawn, who I've also done a review on. 
great little update of the G1 figure, fantastic. Um, got a lot of cues to the original. Decent enough figure, decently poseable. Fantastic little purchase. Uh, I only paid nine quid for him, and like I said, and uh, I, I bought him from the same seller I got to, got the little KO Megatron from. So I was quite happy to get him. And uh, then the next day, uh, obviously uh, another package arrived, this time from Korea, some KTRT bots. Um, I'd also purchased these on uh, March the 1st. And they are the Hello Carbot Micro Storm and Dandy. As with all these other micro figures that they do, uh, lack of paint in the robot modes and loose joints are common on these things. But uh, I'm glad I got them. Um, Storm's pretty decent actually for what he is. I mean, he's, as you can see how much bigger he is than the other guy. And uh, he transforms from a, ve a vehicle that's roughly about the same size. So he's more of a scout class bot than a than a you know a, a legends or a legion class figure. So they arrived on uh, March the eighth. Again, I've done reviews on these guys. Now uh, next, again um, ordered it on the first of March, and the next one arrived on the eighth also. Titans Return Leader Class Six Shot. Now, he's still, as you can see, he's still unopened, still sealed. I haven't got him out yet. So he arrived on the 8th of March and he's been sat on my bedroom floor ever since. Um, I haven't got him out yet, but I will you know, get him out and have a uh, tinker with him later on. Uh, yeah, wanted to get this guy. I, I don't know what it was. Um, I've got it in my head. Uh, I've got the Mastermind Creations reformatted R01C Terminus Hexatron Continuum. And I thought it'd be nice to collect uh, another version of uh, Six Shot. Um, I'd like to get the G1 as a comparison to go with this, and I might even go for the smaller ones, like the world's smallest Six Shot, and uh, that uh, that one from Iron Factory, that little um, that little uh, little one. But yeah, decent figure. Um, recently watched uh, Mike Case's uh, you know uh, bots and shots video where him and uh, uh, did uh, did six shot and uh, Mike had the Titans Return figure and when he was transforming it he was complaining that he wouldn't pe the the, uh, you know, the limbs wouldn't peg in in the various uh, alt modes it went through and uh, the the other thing with this um, was the price I paid for it now I was wait I was uh, looking around to see if this guy appeared in uh, retail in the UK but it doesn't appear I don't think this guy is on sale in the shops in the UK I've not seen him and I reckon he's going to be one of those figures that's going to going to miss the UK completely. So I was looking on eBay and I found this seller that was doing them for like 52 quid and I thought, well, yeah, I'm, I'm prepared to do it at that price. I mean, it's, it's a leader class figure, so you can argue they're worth 50 quid and he's a six changer. He's got six modes, so he's got, you know, he's got the extra engineering that allows him to do that. So, you know, he's worth 52 quid. The only thing is I'm going up to Bury this weekend and if I'll do my usual rounds, the the shops on Saturday morning, if I go into Smith's and see this on the shelf for 35 quid, I'm going to be sick as a parrot. But anyway, yep, yeah, got him. Next, uh, went to Spa Town Comics in the town centre to get a couple of couple of uh, couple of comics, and I got Transformers the Annual and Talola One Number Seven. Uh, Transformers the Annual. It's sort of you know, R.I.D. Optimus Prime. Uh, sort of storyline, but it's it's set in between events where Optimus and um, oh, what's her bloody name from the uh, Victorian Combiner. Anyway, they're they're recounting events of things that happened in the past. Uh, Bumblebees in it quite a lot, and uh, it's an interesting story. It gives you some insight into the background of some of the other characters. And then uh, Tall R One, number seven. Uh, the little, the uh, the gut and the uh, Windblade and crew have managed to steal away aboard uh, Carsa, 
and they're fighting their way to the brain core to reactivate Casa and of course uh, uh, Alita One and um, Obsidian are standing in their way. So yeah, it's, it's, it's getting quite interesting this. So yeah, I'm glad I'm continuing with that. So I, I got them £3.80 from Spartan Comics. I mean, it's really good that I can now go uptown and uh, you know buy comics locally from a, a little cart in the in the town centre. That, that's really good. I mean, uh, I went up there again today and, and got another comic, which you'll see at the end of the haul. So yeah, really pleased with that. And that was on uh, the 11th of March. And uh, moving on, uh, so uh, item number nine, uh, 13th of March, Titans Return Broadside. Uh, again, eBay item, bought this guy off eBay, um, wanted him because, mainly because, well, the main reason I wanted this guy was because how many broadsides have they done? How many broadsides have we had over the years? We just had the G1, that uh, Fans Project Assaulter thing, and this. So there's only been three, as far as I'm aware, three broadside toys. It's obviously a reworking of the um, Alpha Trion mold. So it's a reworking of that. Um, obviously they've made some change, changes to it. Decent bot mode, awesome, awesome you know, aircraft carrier mode. It's just that the, the plane mode is just, just a complete and utter brick. It's awful. I've been messing around trying to make the plane mode look better by straightening the legs out and doing a few things. You can kind of get a slightly better plane mode out of it, but it's really an afterthought. The plane mode. I mean, the re the real reason you buy this is for the uh, is for the ship, the ship mode and the robot mode. But it's a decent little figure, and uh, I I got it for about um, yeah. Again, another another thing that I ordered on the uh, 1st of March and it arrived on the 13th and I paid uh, just under 32 quid for it so I was happy with that right next now um, going back uh, a year or two back to uh, 2014 uh, I bought this guy Bought my Supreme Star Scream, and I got it from a car boot sale for about ten quid. And uh, he's he's missing a few bits, as you can probably see. He's missing his his tail section, and he's missing, you know, the 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 wing weapon pod off the other side. Forms a, a perfectly good robot, but you know he's a bit uneven because he's got the bits missing. And I had it in my head that I wanted to try and get hold of the parts to fix him up. Well, uh, sometime later that year, I managed to get hold of the crown. So, you know, I've got the crown for him. But then it was a case of I had a search going on eBay for parts and nothing cropped up. So I just kind of forgot about it. And then on, uh, let's have a look what was the date. Right, six, Monday the 6th of March, uh, I got a notification from eBay, St Supreme Star Screen parts. So I had a look on and there was a guy um, in America selling exactly the parts that I needed, the two tail sections and the, the left hand wing. And they were all on the buy it now prices for around about, well just under 20 quid. So I went bing, 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 bought all three of them. And I uh, then contacted the seller to, to see if he could sort me out um, a deal on the shipping because obviously I paid for three separate items and the, 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 the shipping was a bit much. But unfortunately, uh, because I'd done a buy it now, the you know the price was locked in, and the seller couldn't do me a refund. But he'd already emailed me a message because he'd you know sussed out what had happened, and emailed me a message with a suggestion that I might like to select something else from his eBay shop to buy, to the value of ten to fifteen dollars, and uh, make up for the uh, extra shipping I'd paid on the uh, the other items. So anyway, the bits that I got is the wing section and the two tail bits. So now I can take my star screen and then I can go and go like that, put his wing back on and then you get the tails and they just 
and you just plug into the back and then you put them together and there we go he's now a complete tetrajet so that's awesome uh, the only thing i'm missing is the cyber planet keys but i'm sure i'll be able to pick them up quite cheaply at some point i mean you can make the cyber planet keys work the gimmicks work by uh, uh like that but anyway you, you can make them work about the keys so there was that and uh Yes, I need to give a serious shout out to this this eBayer who made this all possible for me. Now his name is Vafero One, and I'll, I'll put it on screen now. That's his uh, eBay name, and he's got a, an online shop, an eBay shop, and he has got hundreds of items. You know, lots of transformers, and he's got other things as well. He doesn't just just do transformers. He does all sorts of you know you know toy figurines from all sorts of different lines. But I was just looking at the Transformers stuff. And uh, basically he went, he said, go on to my online shop and have a look at uh, you know what I've got available and select a figure that's to the value of 10 to $15. So I did, and I picked, get it out of the bag. I picked Cybertron Crosswise. So I bought him, now he's come complete with his missile and his cyber planet key. So the things still work. And, and I've wanted one of these for quite a while because obviously it's a, it's a Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> and this, this guy came out way before they even thought about using the Bugatti Veyron as uh, drift salt mode in the uh, Age of Extinction. So yeah, th this, this thing's going way back to the early 2000s. But uh, yeah, uh, he had the other version of it, this, the smokescreen version, the repaint. He's got loads of figures on there. So I'll put a link down below to the guy's eBay shop and you, you've got to go check it out. So that's that's the Pharaoh one. He's got dozens and dozens and dozens of items, well, hundreds of items. The prices are really reasonable. He's got you know stuff from all sorts of Transformers lines. You've really, really got to check, check it out. So I got that. And he also said he was going to throw in an extra figure. Um, so he gave me, only went and threw in Cybertron backstop. <laughs> so he, he gave this to me as a Brucey bonus. Um, I know this figure goes in for a lot of flack, um, as being as one of the worst transforming figures ever made, but uh, actually I quite like him. Um, I like Cybertron figures anyway, because I'm a bit of a fan of the show. He's got a, a, a very asymmetrical design. Obviously, he's got the old ass hand going on. But uh, yeah, so uh, got him. That was that was great for as a freebie. So uh, when it's when when it's free, you don't you don't mind so much, do you? So yeah, got that. So uh, thanks to uh, Mr. Faro for sorting me out with those extra figures that uh, well didn't actually cost me anything, but though you could say I'd already paid for them because I overpaid on the shipping because of the uh, the, the nature of the the buy it now bits I bought. So that was fantastic. So uh, Mr. Faro, thanks to you, and uh, got a few extra figures that I wasn't expecting to get. Right, and that all arrived. That all arrived on the uh, the 13th of March. Now, next. The next thing, um, on the March the 20th, got a letter from Toy Hacks. Um, obviously, I bought a bunch of uh, uh, repro labels from them uh, back in January, and they've sent me a mail shot. And when I opened it, inside, is a this really cool this really cool art print of uh, Titans Return, Soundwave, Ravage, and uh, Buzzsaw, and it came with uh, a small number of uh, sort of uh, white, you know, silver-backed faction symbols, which I can uh, certainly make use of, and it's um, it's got a it's got a temp voucher. The only problem is um, it expires on the 31st of the 3rd, 2017, which is today. <laughs> and uh, I still haven't used most of the um, 
the uh, stickers that I got from them last time. There's still a bunch of them I haven't used yet. So I haven't got around to using the figures I bought from them. So I, I haven't really got a need to do to order anything else from uh, Toy Hacks and Repro Labels. But it's uh, it's good that they uh, they thought to send this to me, even if it's uh, just a bunch of um, faction symbols. But that was fantastic. Um, has anyone else got these sent to them? You know, from Toy Hacks, from Repro Labels, as a, like a little incentive to go and spend more money on their website. Be interesting to know if you, if you have uh, been sent one. But uh, yeah, that was a little something else I got this month. Right, uh, then next. Now, again, another figure I've done a review on. Uh, there was a particular figure. I bought this on uh, Friday, March the 10th, and I said in my review, I was at work, I was scrolling through eBay, and uh, looking at Tobots, and then this figure came up, and I sort of blindly bought it. I had my blinkers on, bought it blindly, and later on I realised I'd made a mistake. And when it arrived, it was totally the different figure to what I was expecting, and it's little original Y, Tobot original Y. Um, again, small scale figure. It's about uh, Voyager scale. Um, definitely smaller than. Uh, the other figures this isn't the size I was expecting the, the big figure but uh, this wasn't it paid about 25 quid for this that was part another part of the reason why I went for it because I thought I was getting one of the bigger figures and uh, paying a lower price for it uh, it's okay um, I'm glad I got it even though I bought it by mistake didn't mean to buy this but uh, it's, it's it's an okay figure it's it's all right it's got um, limitations on articulation but then again it's a tow bar it's a ktrt bar you know they aren't the most articulated things in the world it's solidly made you know pegs together really well nice chunky car mode really solid plastic nice and heavy very you know sort of shiny durable yeah, it's a great little toy it's a great little figure but um, again didn't mean to buy it but hey ho i've got it now and uh, it's, it's a different size class to the other tow bot figures i've got so in that respect, it sort of fills a void or a hole that uh, wasn't even there. So yeah, got him, little Tobot original Y, and he arrived on the uh, the twenty third. Now, Saturday the twenty fifth, I went to the Lem Comic Con. Yes, went to the Lem Comic Con. I just got me Comic Con T-shirt on. Yeah, went to that. Um, I had intentions of uh, buying Mastermind Creations Carnifex off um, uh, Suno Kibble, you know, uh, Sid Beckett, because uh, he'd had it at on the stall at uh, Banbury Comic Con for 180 quid. So I'd uh, sort of got got all, got all 200 quid out and I was all ready to buy it. And of course, when I got there, it turns out he'd sold it. So I, I missed out there. So I was uh, going around thinking, well, what should I buy? So uh, bought a comic. Four quid Optimus Prime number five. This is actually getting quite good now. Um, <laughs> yeah, the uh, the shark, you know, the uh, Junkians and the Sharktacans have declared all-out war on Earth, and they're invading everything. And uh, Optimus Prime, the Autobots are starting to turn the tide. And uh, it, it, things is getting interesting. I'm uh, getting into this now, so that's good. And then uh, obviously I was I was at the store at Sid's store and I had to buy something so decided to get uh, Toy Wheel Brainwave. Uh, I've seen he's, he's had this on his store quite a few times and uh, unsold. Um, you look at the box and it had a price tag of like a hundred and seven pound on it at one point and I thought who would want to pay one hundred and seven quid for this? And then it had a, another price tag I think it was um, seventy five quid. But um, because I'd explained to uh, Sid that I'd lost out on, missed out on buying that uh, Carnifex off him, he uh, decided to do me a deal and uh, did it me for 50 quid. I mean, it's used, but uh, it's in good condition. It's got all its bits and the uh, box and everything. So, yeah. And I like Toy World stuff anyway. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's chunky. You know, it's, it's, it's good stuff. I've got plenty of Toy World bots, and uh, I decided I wanted to collect... Uh, Brainstorm as a character, and he was one of the molds that I'm, I haven't got yet. So, yeah, went and bought him 50 quid at the Lim Comic Con on the 25th. So, 
So now we're getting down to it. Uh, now you remember I bought this and I thought I was buying a different figure uh, it turned out to be the wrong one. Well a few days later I uh, it was late at night and I was uh, on my phone and I thought let's have a look on Amazon for Tobots. So I put in Tobots into Amazon and the first thing that came up Tobot Z. Now this was the guy when I bought this this was the guy I really wanted Tobot Z. So I've been um, I've been after this guy for a while. Um, now this is not the Korean version. This is one of the the French versions, if there is such a thing. Um, for some reason, Tobots has been released in France, or last year, the year before last. They actually Silverlit imported the toys, rebranded them, and sold them in France. And they had the TV show dubbed into French and screened on French television. And this is one of those. Um, obviously, getting it out of the box, it was a right bear to get this thing out of the box it was it was really knotted in with um, you know wire toys uh yeah qc issues there's quite a few um this gray plastic here it's not very good uh <laughs> it's not very clever um it's got some molding flash on a few of the plastic parts uh transforming this thing it's not too bad going from car to robot but you try go robot to car it's an absolute nightmare to transform because it's a, it's a full-on panel former i mean you can see he's got like doors up here he's got doors here wheels here he's got like the roof and the tailgate hanging off his back um posability is you no know, not too bad for a tow bot he's fairly posable for a tow bot but he does have his you know the usual limitations no intermediate articulation on the thighs or the biceps he does have a waist joint though so that's 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 something i got him he's obviously another thing as well the the korean one has got you know chromed parts on it it's got like gold chrome there and gold chrome there but uh it's got a chrome grill but on this they're just painted gold and silver so that, that's another difference that this this version's got and i also noticed on the cgi model uh they've got some color color wrong they should have blue bits here the hip should be gray should have blue bits there um that should be a dark shade of blue it should have a blue band around the back of the head and little things like that but i've got him now He's sort of okay, uh, a little bit disappointed in some respects. Um, build quality is not quite as good as I was hoping. Uh, transformation into car mode is very fiddly. But uh, I've got him now, so that's uh, another KTRT bot for the month. I mean, <laughs> that's it, four KTRT bots I've bought this month. What's going on? And uh, the, uh, the last item um, today, Friday the 31st, went up town. Went to uh, Spartown Comics cart in the center and uh, bought Lost Light number four. Um, haven't read it yet. I've literally come straight back from town and set up to do this video. So I, I haven't got it out and read it yet. So I can't tell you what it's about, whether it's any good or not. But I've got that, so I'll be reading that later on. So yeah, that's that. Um, now there is one other item. Uh, I have ordered another item off eBay and uh, it hasn't arrived yet. Um, I ordered it on Saturday the 4th of March and it was due to be delivered, what was the uh, the delivery schedule on it? Oh, well, the 26th was the last day of delivery. I was given a tracking code for it. I've put the tracking code in. It's from a, a, an eBay seller in Japan. I uh, put the tracking code in. It came up that the parcel was dispatched from the local office, went to a sorting office at Tokyo on the 15th of March, and then after that, nothing. No evidence that uh, the thing's gone any further than that. But that's, that's kind of funny with these tracking codes. You know, you put it into track and trace, and it only tracks it in the country of origin. When it goes out of the country of origin, that's it, you don't know where it is. It certainly hasn't been sent airmail shipping out, so I'd have it already. Um, 
it's another figure from the uh, web divers line uh, another figure that i've been after from the web divers line I, I i noticed that there was a few people selling them on ebay all of a sudden at uh, reasonable prices so i bought one and uh, ordered it and it's overdue um it hasn't arrived yet i'm hoping that it's been sent surface and hopefully it will arrive in the next couple of weeks but uh looks like i've had another item lost in the post so yeah there is that so that's that's the uh, the last item that I that I uh, ordered that uh, like I said hasn't arrived. Hopefully it'll arrive next month. I'll have to chase it up next month, but we'll see what happens there. So that's it. That's my haul for this month. As you can see, it's been a pretty good haul. Uh, bought a, quite a few bits. Got some comics. Got some uh, got some bots. You know, decent haul. Got some items that I wanted. So I've done all right for myself. So that's uh, uh, 20 items bought, um, 13 bots in total, and total spent of uh, 471 pounds 90 pence. So I'm under my 500 pound uh, budget. So that's good. Um, next month, uh, obviously, there's I've um, had a bit of a, a thing whereby there's a number of uh, you know, pre-ordered third-party figures coming out that I'm interested in getting, and uh, I've been waiting until they actually get released before making a purchase but it's, it looks as though these figures have been ex extremely popular and the pre-orders have sold out and I've, I've missed my chance at getting in there at the uh, the pre-order price um a couple of uh, third party figures there's um you know uh, mmc's uh, mastermind creations cool tour for instance <laughs> Yeah, you, you can't get that thing for love nor money. Well, you can get it for money because oh, there's a couple of eBay scalpers, but you know, they're asking, you know, 100, was it 130, 140 quid for it? I don't think I want to pay that for it. Um, uh, another figure that's uh, slipped through my grips is uh, Fans Project uh, Chimera, the, uh, the, the Raptor Girl. Um, she's, again, sold out. Um, Ikara, the uh, the Pachycephalosaurus one, that seems to be shelf warming, but uh, can't get hold of the Raptor version for love nor money. It's it's just sold out everywhere. Um, obviously, I've uh, missed out on the the pre-orders for MP36 Megatron 2.0 as well. Um, there's, there's a he's starting to pop up on eBay now at scalpers prices. I'm not prepared to pay 190, 200 quid for it. You can get lost. Um, 165, 170 is about the most I'll be prepared to pay for that. Um, I think I've got a few options open to me of what I, I can do, but it might mean setting up an account with a, another online, uh, you know, seller, another online shop to buy it from that I'm not a member of yet. So there's there's that, and uh, another figure that uh, is imminently due for release that I'll, I want to get o get hold of. Um, I might pre-order it tomorrow. I don't know. We'll have to see. Is uh, Mackie Toys uh, Striker Noir. That's another figure I'm looking to get, but uh, again, it's a, it's a limited edition figure. Once they're sold, that's it, it's gone. Um, there's still a, a few pre-order options open to me at this time, so I'm gonna have to step in there tomorrow and uh, open my account for March with uh, a couple of uh, you know, expensive third-party pre-orders. So <laughs> that's what I'm lined up for next month. So next month, it should be a short month. It'll be hopefully a lot of uh, couple of KTRTs and uh, some third party pre-orders. So that's that. That's me, TFR Wilderness. You know, what have you got this month, Wilderness? Yeah, I hope you've uh, enjoyed my little little talky-talky, showy-showy and tell thing. I've got quite a few good items this month, quite a few of which I've actually reviewed. So I will see you all next time. Goodbye.